fertility preservation options. Well, you've heard of vitamins A, B, C, D, and E, but what about vitamin K? It's found in foods and is needed for optimal health. Yeah, Heidi Hatch tells us in today's Baby Your Baby report, one of the first shots my newborn baby will receive its vitamin K. Vitamin K is involved in blood clotting. Robert Christensen, director of neonatology research at Intermountain Healthcare, says being deficient in vitamin K is a lot like being on a blood thinner. If someone is low in vitamin K, they bleed freely with a bruise or a cut or an injury of some sort. This can be extremely dangerous for newborns. Unfortunately, babies are offered a vitamin K shot after birth. With the vitamin K shot, they don't have excessive bleeding like they might otherwise. Parents Steve and Allison Golan said they didn't hesitate when deciding whether or not to give their children the vitamin K shot. The risks of not doing it are, are, are much greater in my, our mind, and so it was a pretty easy decision for us. The benefits outweigh the risks, so we just knew that what our doctor was telling us would be best for his health in the beginning. Dr. Christensen says out of the children who don't get the shot, one to two percent will have bleeding problems. Every baby born just get a single shot of vitamin K and then you don't have to worry. The only negative Dr. Christensen sees in getting the shot is the initial pain for the prick of the needle, a small sacrifice in the minds of most parents. There's a lot more shots in the NICU than you would get in, with one preventative shot. Heidi Hatch, 2 News. And Dr. Christensen says if you're a parent who doesn't want your child to get the vitamin K shot, work with your doctor to look for alternative